Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my World of Warcraft brothers and sisters. How's everyone doing today in an Azerothian daydream away? My friends, guess what? Something like this is some big major news is happening with Blizzard Entertainment, with its developers, with its employees. I don't know if you've heard yet, but that's why you're here. Guess what? They unionize, that's right, with the World of Warcraft devs, or the Blizzard devs rather. Um, they, they've... They 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 jo they joined and formed a union. That's right, and it's and, and they named it the most gamer nerd union name I have ever seen in my life. The World of Warcraft Game Makers Guild. It's it's literally the best name ever. Because once I read it, I'm like, of course they did. Because why wouldn't they? So let's get into the article here, and they talk about it. About 500 plus employees have joined the union, and we'll get into it. Blizzard developers form the World of Warcraft Game Makers Guild Union. And I have to say, I kind of do like this little uh, this artwork right here. They say over 500 developers of Blizzard Entertainment have unionized to form the name we already said. Formed under the Communication Workers of America, the union is comprised of employees from the art, design, engineering, production, sound, and quality assurance teams simultaneously joined by another 60-person union of quality assurance testers for various Blizzard games called Texas Blizzard QA United CWA. And here's their Twitter post. It says, We're the World of Warcraft Game Makers Guild, the first wall to wall union at Blizzard. We're thrilled to include WoW's QA, art, sound, design, engineering, and production voices for a democratized workplace. At this crucial moment in games, we stand together as one for Azeroth. So here's your guy right here blowing his thing red, white, and blue. Yeehaw, let's go. Now they continue to say, as reported by Game developer the cwa called it a significant milestone in a journey that began with the employee walkout nearly three years ago protesting official handling of discrimination and sexual harassment lawsuit brought against activision blizzard by the state of california and to call for improvement in working conditions for employees especially those from marginalized groups okay now i will say 2019 was a very uh, dark they were very dark days for uh blizzard and for all the game for world of warcraft especially uh and it was a big black eye on a game company that we all loved and trusted and when all this sexual harassment news came out of things going on to people that i personally know uh that i had no idea about till way later on that they came out and talked about it uh, with uh, Convert to Raid on there, some people came out and talked about what was going on, but one of them was, you know, we're not going to say who, the, who it was, obviously, because we're not douche canoes, but this affected me in a sense because I'm like, holy shit, I know this person. I had no idea this happened to him. But yeah, those were very dark days, and Blizzard did not exactly handle it very well, and a lot of people saw that, and you know, people w walked out, uh, people were dropping their subscriptions, and it didn't... Yeah, and, you know, then there was Shadowlands, but we don't talk about Shadowlands at all. But, yeah, it was a dark time. So, a lot of things came to surface, and I, this it had all been building up to where they are now. Thankfully, Blizzard's in a far better place than it was with new people at the helm, and just it's healthy, and it's vibrant, and it's thriving. I think that's great. And this might be another step in its golden age direction, but let's continue reading. The CWA um, says this victory underscores the growing momentum of worker organizing, organizing in the video game industry and will hopefully continue to inspire other video game workers to form unions and raise industry-wide expectations for pay, benefits, and respect for workers' rights. And again, it's, it's no secret that people are not, if you are not management, you are not getting paid what you thought you were going to get paid. Yes, the gaming industry, long hours, there's tons of burnout, there's crunch times. That kind of stuff does come with the job. And I think some people go into it already knowing that. And then some people go into it going, oh, it's not that bad. But when it turns out to be that bad, I'm not excusing it. I don't think you should have those crunch times at all. I think workers should have their, this is how long you work. And yes, you're going to have to do overtime. That just welcome to real world but it shouldn't be so soul crushing to where you're just you know you're not in a great state of mind uh, unfortunately we also live in a, a world right now where lazy is on the rise and people freak out working for more than eight hours to which i just laugh and go oh man i remember when i used to work 70 hour work weeks <laughs> okay likewise senior uh, software developer kevin vag or 
Vigu is quoted in saying that the team was inspired by similar unionization efforts at ZeniMax, Sega, and other studios, further strengthened by the recent layoffs and studio closures throughout the industry. Uh, and this is what his remarks are there. And it said, World of Warcraft Game Makers Guild is now the second largest uh, union at Microsoft behind Activision's 600-member QA union. Both were also aided by Microsoft's labor neutrality agreement with the CWA, a set of five provisions agreed upon prior to the $68.7 freaking billion dollar acquisition of Activision Blizzard last October. And these are what was agreed upon. First, Microsoft will take a neutral approach when employees covered by the agreement express interest in joining a union. Second, covered employees will be able to easily exercise the right to communicate with other employees and union representatives upon union membership in a way that encourages information sharing and avoids business disruptions. Thirdly, employees will have access to an innovative technology supported and streamlined process for choosing whether to join a union. Fourth, employees can maintain confidentiality and privacy of that choice if they wish. And fifth, if a disagreement arises between the CWA and Microsoft under the agreement, the two organizations will work together promptly to reach an agreement and will turn to an expedited arbor arbitration process if they cannot. The agreement does not impact the Activision workforce before the close of the transaction. And they kind of, you know, in conclusion, it described as a wall-to-wall -wall union and companies mul multiple departments and disciplines. It doesn't actually cover every developer on the World of Warcraft team, but is said to have received massive support throughout its various departments. While most unions are broken up by departments which may have different needs and goals, the larger membership also gives the union more bargaining power. And this large-scale movement represents a significant and growing trend of within the video game industry, as embittered employees fight back against the endless churn of an industry driven by seemingly equal amounts of crunch burnout and passion and you know they're not wrong like i like we like i just got done saying the gaming industry can be and is brutal it is a brutal industry to get into and try to survive especially nowadays when money is tight for everyone and you're seeing a lot of game gaming industry uh people who have been producing some games that just didn't do well and they're having to cut a lot of staff because the money's just not there game games are a luxury item gaming is a luxury yes it's a great hobby i love doing it i'm semi-professional because i do this uh and that's just what i do but at the end of the day, it's just a hobby. And hobbies are us sometimes usually the first things to go when the wallet needs to be tightened. And you're seeing that. And you're also seeing that with people not enjoying or liking some of the games that have been put out. And people will speak with their wallets, to which I believe they should, 100%. But should everyone be thrown out like the baby in the bathwater? No, no, they shouldn't. Should there be great compensation packages uh, or fair, you know, uh, yeah, fair, not trusted, trust is not the right word, but fair, I guess, is, is the right word right now. Fair um, treatment and packages for people who are being let go? Yes, I really believe that it should, especially if you're a multi-billion dollar company and if you're going to give, uh, you know, golden parachutes to the other people, at least give some silver or bronze parachutes to the, the, the smaller people in the in the uh, in the business who are just finding themselves out of a job, which is horrible and it sucks and you don't want to be there. There's a lot of people have families. It's expensive to feed kids, it, all that jazz. And like, it, it it just it it just creates a domino effect that's just not good not fun and then when you have all these people being let go it floods and saturates the market to where it's harder to find a job in the industry so good on the blizzard crew for getting this done for being able to unionize i hope it works out for them i hope it works out best for the game and for us as a community as well we kind of have a toe in this right we have some skin in the game in the in this as well I just hope that they do the right thing because sometimes you can get unions that do great things and you never hear about them like the ups union you rarely ever hear about those but then you have some unions you're just like what are you doing do you care about your workers i kind of hope it's more like the ups i'm like oh sweet we just heard about it and then we don't hear anything because they're too busy working and getting along and finding the balance in the force on this one. I'm hoping that's where we go. I hope this works out. I hope it's, like I said, for the best for the game and best for all of us and best for the employees. And I do hope they get uh, their just rewards on this one. They get a bump in pay and, you know, they, they get some time off a little bit. That's fine. 
<laughs> Everyone deserves some time off. I get it. And some, you know, want to be able to get home with the fam and just have some dimmer, dimmer dinner with the wives and kids. The wives? I don't know. Maybe you're from Utah. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, my friends, put your comments in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on all these things. What do you think about Blizzard unionizing? What other dev teams do you think should unionize that haven't already? Good? bad let me know your thoughts in the comment section below make sure you hit the like button the share button the bell notification button all of that jazz my friends do the thing because it helps out quite a bit make sure you hit the subscribe button become part of the family here at Booming nation the freak show youtube the black sheep of gaming and as always my friends we're going to be kind it's about community and don't forget to spay and neuter your moonkin we'll see you later my friends good day